All right, we're out here halibut fishing. And this is our bait. Octopus, herring, and pollock. You still got bait? No, I'm good, right? This actually isn't gonna catch hardly any fish. The problem is... Hello guys, Captain Cody here with GlobalFishingReports.com. We just got done halibut fishing for the day and we caught a bunch of halibut. It's like a baseball pose. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need me to screen grab it or just keep going? No, just, okay. just video on it. All right. Nice! Now, we're making new halibut rigs for tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie up these rigs right now. So our basic setup here is we got a big Shimano reel. We got 80 pound braid. And then on here, we got the 80 pound braid tied to a swivel, which goes to this ganyan. This ganyan's 150 pound ganyan. Goes uni knot, and then this swivel, it's got a little slider swivel between some knots here. This is where your weight would go. It'll be either a one pound weight or a two pound weight most likely. And this comes down here to a big 15 aught circle hook. That's our setup. That's your basic setup for halibut. Um, your other option is, this will catch big halibut. For smaller halibut, a good option to go is just a little gum pucky with a slider, with some beads. This is your mooching rig. And then right down here, it just goes to your basic double hook setup where you'd hook on a herring. Bait in the left hand. Go right through that membrane. Keep that pinch this mouth shut whenever you're doing that. Flip it around and just put it right through the good, through a good part of that meat. And your hook will be sticking out a little bit on that other side. Now you're ready to go. This, just let it, let it be free. Very rarely do you miss fish whenever you hook them up like this. So this is how it, this is the basics of the rig. We got a swivel with a uni knot tied to a snap swivel where the weight will go onto another snap swivel so we can disconnect this leader which goes to a big circle hook with a perfection loop. So without further ado guys, I'm going to show you guys how to tie one of these up. We'll start with the hook part onto there. So what I got is I have a 32 inch piece of 100 pound mono and I have a 32 inch piece of 150 pound um, ganyan. This is ganyan line. So we'll start with the mono and I'll show you guys how to tie this knot right here to put the hook onto the mono. And to do that, you use a perfection loop. Perfection loop goes like this. Around. And you guys can look up how to tie a perfection loop specifically in a bunch of YouTube videos, but this is the general idea. You don't want it to have too much, too, too big of a loop, but you don't want it to be too small so it won't go through the hook either. There's your perfection loop. Now here's the trick. Most people might think, okay, I'm gonna put this perfection loop onto the hook. I'll pull it up through here. And oh, I'm good, right? This actually isn't gonna catch hardly any fish. The problem is, whenever this pulls, you're not rotating the hook into the fish's mouth. You're actually pulling from here so it'll actually be rotating it out of the fish's mouth. See that? Not gonna catch very many fish. So, what you gotta do is go the other way. Come through this way, just like that. Now, whenever you pull up on this, you're actually rotating that hook into the fish's mouth as you pull up. That's gonna catch a lot more fish. Normally if you're running wire or something like that, it would be equivalent to this, where you have it just through the eye there. And that's kind of in between. It's not rolling the hook into the fish's mouth, but it's not rolling the hook out of the fish's mouth. So that'll work too, but that's not ideal. So we'll go with our ideas, ideal scenario here, which is hooking it just like that. Get that one done. This one this is just gonna be a uni knot. For most of my mono, I'll do a five, a five loop uni knot. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull this guy nice and tight. Get 
All right. So that's the bottom half of our leader. Now to do this Ganyan. This Ganyan's pretty heavy line. So I'll still do a uni knot, but I'm just gonna do a four lib uni knot onto this part. You need quite a bit of extra to do this uni knot. One, two, three, and four. With this ganyan, it's pretty tough to really pull it tight, but it will slide tight. And it'll make a nice knot. There's that knot. And now we need to hold a, have a place for the swivel to stop. So to do that, we just do a basic overhand knot. But we double it up so that it doesn't slide. So we got one overhand knot. And now we'll do a second overhand knot. Second overhand knot, it'll pull tight. We'll put in our sliding swivel. That goes on through there. And then we'll do the exact same thing on this side with another overhand knot. Usually I make it a couple inches there just so it can slide a little bit. Doesn't really need to have any room to slide though. So now you can see that this is hooked in there good. And now on this other side, we're going to put the clip swivel. So we got a barrel swivel, clip swivel, and on this side we're going to have another clip swivel. Guess what I'm going to use? Another four loop uni knot. One, two, three and four. We'll pull this tight. And we're just about done. So now this clips on to here just like so. This end here will get tied to your main line with just whatever your favorite knot is. I'm gonna use a uni knot with five loops. And that's what you're left with. I'm gonna snip off these ends right now. But then whenever you're halibut fishing and you need to change your bait, you got a big two pound weight hanging here, you can just take this off. You're left with just your leader, put a whole bunch of bait on there, go back to your pole, Clip it back to your pole, toss it all back in, and you're fishing. What are you gonna put on this hook? You're gonna put herring, you're gonna put chunks of salmon, you're gonna put chunks of pollock, guts of salmon, anything really stinky goes on this hook. Now I clip these ends, I got a big, a big crimper I actually use. It makes it nice and easy. May seem obvious, but who knows? Maybe somebody's wondering. I'm just gonna catch us a nice 37 inch halibut tomorrow, hopefully. 37 and a half. Yep. 43, 44. Yep. You wanna grab a quick picture with it? Look, look, look forward. I'll send you the picture. <laughs> now how do you take the No, it's it's going. Okay. Alright, we're out here halibut fishing. And this is our bait. Octopus, herring, and pollock. You still got bait? Okay. I might swap that out anyway, but yeah, I'm let's surprised try, he didn't keep try it one more time. surprised he didn't keep biting. Well let's get him this octopus down there. So we're gonna swap this bait out. Just let out a little bit more line if you could. And I'm just gonna grab that line. Yep. Our new bait going in. I'll let the current take it for a little bit. You can just free spool it 
the whole way. Drop that. This is some octopus that we pulled out of a link cod. Big tentacle. And we're dropping down. We're at 389 feet. 390. Fishing out here at the Cape. Real in a halibut. It's not huge, but. He's actually taking out some drag. That's good. That's the way we do want to keep it. You can throw a bigger. That is a better one. We'll take that one for yep. sure. These are the weights you guys want to use. Some of them are one pound, some of them are two pounds. The really small ones there are six ounce or eight ounce for moochum. That other one's a downrigger ball. All right guys, these are our three herring flats we're gonna use for salmon and halibut fishing today. We got them covered in salt and then we're just gonna soak them in salt water. So we'll let them soak for about 10 minutes and then we'll put them in the cooler. I hope you guys found that video helpful on how to make halibut rigs. If you guys did, please subscribe. Also check out my halibut page on globalfishingreports.com. It shows you guys where you can purchase a lot of that stuff to make the halibut rigs and also shows you some other great halibut baits. Thanks for watching guys.